How about in the same paragraph? This is the case where we have a citation, and then in the same paragraph we have the same citation again. How can we handle that? Romeo and Juliet presents an opposition between two worlds. Quote, the world of the everyday and the world of romance. Close quote. So here we have a quote, right? Although the two lovers are part of a world of romance, their language of love nevertheless becomes fully responsive to the tang of actuality. Okay, we have two quotes. Here is one quote. Here is a second quote. Those quotes must be from different pages. If they're from different pages, then we need to have the page number of each one, and we do. Here is Zender, and then the first quote is from 138, and the second quote is from 141. And how do we separate that? With a comma. So very interesting, different from APA, very different, and that is name of the author, no comma, and then the first quote, the second quote separated by a comma. Let me clear this out here. Within a single paragraph, different page locations, and you can omit the name. So for example, Romeo and Juliet presents an opposition between two worlds, and here we say the world of every day associated with the adults in the play, and the world of romance associated with the two lovers, and here we have Zender, 138. So this is one quote that is from 138. Romeo and Juliet's language of love nevertheless becomes fully responsive. This is the second quote. So here we have the author and the location, page 138. And here we have the second quote, which is on page 141. However, because we've already showed the author, we don't need to write the author again in the same paragraph. So in the same paragraph, key point, just like in APA, we don't have to write it all over again, but we do need to be specific if it's a different location, in this, in this case a different quote. According to Carl F. Zinder, Romeo and Juliet presents an opposition between two worlds. Here we begin a quote, the world of the everyday associated with adults in play and the world of romance. So we have two quotes associated with two lovers, and here we say 138. Romeo and Juliet's language of love nevertheless becomes fully responsive. Here's another quote, 141. So here this is kind of the similar case, but what have we done differently? Here is the author's name here. According to Carl F. Zender, we've given the author here. Now we could write out just Zender. But in this case, we've written out his whole name, which is okay if that's the way you want to write it. And we have quotes from him. But this, these first two quotes are from the same page, which is 138. And then the second, the third quote actually is over here is 141. We don't need to write the author's name again because it's in the same paragraph. What if you're going to repeat sources? Within a single paragraph, no other source intervenes, then you can use the reference over again. So we've kind of talked about this already, but to, just to be more specific in MLA, we're actually saying that inside one paragraph, if you use the same reference again, you do not need to repeat information if there's no other references in between. A little bit confusing, right? But I think the general rule of thumb is, is easy to understand. Watch out when do you need to repeat.